Hi, Foster. Um, Levi Damien from USA Today. I was just kind of wondering, I saw that some of the players were wearing some um, jerseys of some Raider legends. Um, who did you uh, get a chance to wear, and was it a situation where you got to pick who you wore, or did they just give you the shirt or have to go? Oh, I got pretty lucky. Um, no, Coach just kind of told us yesterday that um, we are going to break out some of the old jerseys. You know, uh, Gru loves to bring back old players, you know, loves to keep the Raider tradition going. Um, and through that, today I got Raymond Chester, which was pretty cool. Um, we also had Darren and a Todd Christensen, and we had Witt in, uh, in the 87 Ghost. Um, but it was pretty cool, um, pretty cool to don those guys' jerseys. Uh, a little change of pace for us, um, and we had a pretty good day out there. I could ask you guys questions if you want. No. Foster, how, how would you just assess uh, how, how the offense is kind of coming together right now at this point in training camp? Um, I think it's going really well, uh, especially for the amount of time that, that we kind of lost in, uh, in the spring, you know, over the summer. Um, I think we've really made great jumps, great leaps. Um, just done a, a, an exceptional job, especially at the rookie level, um, and kind of get everyone, getting everyone acclimated to to the speed at which we expect guys to learn, you know, it's 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 kind of a difficult offense to to wrap your head around. A um, lot of verbiage, but I think guys have really done a good job of picking up on things, and we're flying around the field. Hey, Foster, Cassie Soto with the Las Vegas Review Journal. What are your first impressions of Allegiant Stadium after being able to practice it on Friday? Uh, it was beautiful. Um, it was beautiful. You got to give all, all the shout outs in the world to the Davis family. Um, to Las Vegas itself. Um, I, I, I don't want to hate on anything, but it's certainly an upgrade. Um, an upgrade, definitely because we got, we, got, uh, we, got, we got climate control, we got a bunch of different things, uh, and, and it's beautiful in there. And all the guys loved it. Um, the field turf is phenomenal, which is something that we, all, that we were all kind of looking forward to. Uh, and it was beautiful. We kind of got to tour around a little bit. Um, Alec Ingold was kind of giving me thoughts on little celebrations we could kind of get into. Um, just fun stuff like that. You know, it's, it's always cool to be in a new place. Um, I'm really, really excited we get to play in such a great stadium. And Foster, Jerry McDonald from Barry and News Group, you, um, it seems like your, your, your recovery has been pretty seamless. I mean, have you, you're coming back right full strength at the beginning of camp. And when did you feel like that was going to be the case after the surgery? And how, how was the, the whole recovery without an off season, without, guy, without teammates to push you, without team trainers to push you, that kind of thing? Um, I mean, I won't lie to you, it was difficult. Um, put, it puts you in a, in a difficult situation uh, where the guidance isn't really there every day. You know, it's, it's not an everyday routine kind of thing. And, and that's kind of what athletes and, and successful people thrive off of is, is being able to, to monitor and mirror their routine um, and kind of cater it to the things that they need to do um, to be successful day in and day out. So uh, through COVID, I mean, it was kind of difficult to be able to meet up with people and, um, and get back on the recovery track and do all the things that you wanted to do. Um, kind of had to, I mean, spend a lot of hours alone kind of doing it myself and, and self-monitoring um, how my recovery is supposed to go. Uh, and right now we're feeling great. Right now we're feeling great. There was, there was a lot of work that was put into this. Um, I can't thank the training staff here enough. I can't thank uh, AJ Nibel and his staff enough. Um, and definitely the guys down at LSU that did my surgery. Um, namely, uh, Brent Bankston who was the surgeon, namely um, Jack Marucci and his staff, uh, and the day in, day out type stuff, um, with my guy Derek Calvert down there, who's our, um, who, who was one of our physical therapists. Uh, it was tough, but I feel great, and I, uh, I think I'm ready to go. I think it was in the summer when we were running routes over at, over at Olympia Sports Park. I think that was kind of when things started to come together. Hey Foster, Paul Gutierrez here from ESPN. Speaking of those off-season workouts, how, how key was it for Derek to, to organize those things for this offense to get some sort of continuity this summer, whether it was just running around in a park or just throwing balls around? And besides that, now that you're out here on the field, is there a way to describe just the pure speed that Henry Ruggs has when you're out there running next to him? It's funny. Uh, 
funny you talk about running next to people, running next to people and understanding their speed. Um, you don't really understand it as much uh, until you're actually running next to these guys. Uh, I don't run next to rugs that much because of field spacing issues, obviously. Um, but you could, you could tell the guy could fly. And, and on the topic of the workouts, I think it was pivotal for our team and definitely for Derek to understand the timing. I mean, we brought a bunch of free agents and we got a lot of offensive rookies that Derek needed to learn their timing on certain routes. And obviously they needed to learn Derek's. Um, so it was a big, it was a big, big thing for us uh, to be able to get out there and, and to get guys out a little earlier than, than the schedule kind of dictated. Uh, that was big. That, that was definitely big for us. Uh, but funny enough, like, I never really knew how fast Darren was. And obviously Darren's very, very fast. Very, very fast, obviously. Until you're kind of like, until you're running next to him. And he actually has something in front of him that he wants. And he's actually going to get something that he wants. I mean, there's really no slowing that guy down. His speed is ridiculous. Henry Ruggs has great speed. Uh, I think we got great speed across the board, and, and that's what we brought in. Foster Scott Branson with Raider Nation Radio. What did you learn in your rookie year that you've taken into this camp and uh, that you can apply that will make you a better player in year two? Uh, I, I think in my rookie year I developed a really good routine, um, a really good routine every day that, uh, that I kind of learned to follow and, and do a great job of, of understanding where I needed to allocate my time during the week in order to be successful on Sunday. Um, and, and I've kind of carried that over and, and added some things into it. Um, you learn to watch film better. You know, you learn how to recover um, like efficiently. You know, you're not just you're not just doing ice and stem just uh, just for the kicks of it, just because someone told you to go recover. Um, you know exactly what you want to do during the week, and uh, I think that's invaluable as as a player knowing where to put your time. Your last question, guys. Foster, Sam Gordon, Las Vegas Green Journal, thank you for the time this morning. Um, to build off of that, you know, you're now going into your sophomore campaign, do you have any particular goals or, or benchmarks that, that you want to hit this year? Oh, goals or benchmarks. Um, you know, goals kind of work for certain people. They really do. Um, and then sometimes you shatter expectations or you don't meet them. Um, you know, shoot for the shoot for the stars and you land on the moon. A bunch of different little idioms that you could throw at, at, at that. Um, but for for me, I, I really don't try to look into the future all that much. Um, I really just kind of focus on the now and the present, and I think that's the best way for me to live my life. All right. Thank you, Foster. Sure.